second half of the Scratch Division title match, wrapping up an exciting weekend here at South Plains Lanes in Lovett. Stefan Wood is in trouble. He had to burn through his mulligans to get through a tough match against Carson Opel in the semifinals. And he's now facing an even tougher Zach Wojciechowski in the title match. Wojo started with triple spare strike on a very challenging badger pattern. While Wood is has one open without a double, and the, the double whammy in this situation is that Ojo also has three mulligans still sitting in his back pocket. So big advantage, Zach, but Stefan's as tough as they come in match play. Get that 10-pin out of there. Left lane's been his bugaboo this entire step ladder. It plays even tighter than the other lane. Hard to get that. 10 pin to carry. Excellent spare shooter, hard and straight. No problem with the spare, but he's running out of frames in a hurry. Earlier in the step ladder, Bradley Edwards ground out a 176 to 166 win over Josh Demon. And then Wood 182 to 170 over Edwards. And then scores went up quite a bit, 236 to 216. Wood over Appella, yesterday's champion, finishes first and third on. But Wojo right now just crushing him. No need for mulligans when you go triple spare double on a hard pattern. Yesterday the scratch division cut was plus 69. Today it was minus 104. So 30 some odd pins lower per game. How much the uh, lane conditions dictate the scoring pace. But it's still the uh, people who bowl the best rise to the top. No matter what the pace is and Wojo by far the best look right now. Doesn't seem troubled by that left-hand lane. You see neither bowler trying to cover a lot of boards. That makes a lot of sense because you're not going to cover a lot of boards in Badger no matter what you do. Trying to increase the forward roll to get the ball to grip at what little friction is at the end of the pattern. These bowlers could slow roll it and hook the lane if they wanted to. And that's what he's been. Uh, you, can tell, you can tell by Stefan's uh, body language in reaction to the crowd that that's been there for him. He just had to execute a little bit better. But uh, Zach applied all that early pressure, and it's it's a mental challenge knowing there's so many mulligans against him as well. Stefan, a three-time champion in just limited appearances. Bowls all the Texas events with us, of course, then pops out the occasional New Mexico one. Has to have this one to have any prayer. And he does. Well, staying alive. Other bowlers have learned you don't give Stefan a second chance in any way, shape, or form. He will pounce all over it, but uh, it would have to be a second, third, fourth, and fifth chance here as Zach already in the 230s. So he needs that open to get back to the 220s that Wood can max out at. But again, he's got three, three do-overs. Well, you try your best to conserve those mulligans. Sometimes you can't conserve them. And this is all becoming quickly academic as Zach has a chance to throw the high game of the tournament by a considerable margin here. I don't know what the highest scratch game is, but I'm sure it wasn't over 250. Zach got a 238 earlier, and that was by far the highest of the five finalists. And he is already in the 240s. Impressive performance, to say the least. These are not these are not cheap strikes either, by the way. These are bang, 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 flush, brilliant strikes. Stefan is relegated to a handshake in the ninth frame already. Wow, how about saving his best for last? Yeah. Yesterday we had a tiebreaker roll off that went two shots after a 203 tie in the scratch division. That will not be the case today. Oh! Didn't matter as far, didn't matter as far as the scoreboard, but just for pride, he wanted that one to carry. That was a really nice shot.
No. Whips to spare. Inconsequential. Nothing wrong with second place in a uh, JVT event. Zach took over the lead in match play and did not look back. Well, almost gets a break right back to roll the 4 7. Is that, that is that true? That is true. That is yeah. true. All right, we have confirmation that he would have carried that shot. Yeah. <laughs> Devin's dad, owner of Whitewood Lakes across town. A lot of good results out of the Whitewood kids today. Oh, man. No 279, but a extremely impressive 250. He goes with a speedball to finish up an excellent performance. Daniel Hall won his third under 17 event of the season already, so he's already U17 eligible. Eileen Linares, who made both cuts in the main scratch division uh, this weekend, uh, won the women's division in a walkover because Alyssa didn't figure that one, minus 193 would have been good enough for second in the girls today, but it was. The ladies, higher average ladies struggled a bit today. But how about a 258 for four-time champ Zach Wojciechowski? High game of the day. Dominance. The rest of all of our finalists will do it all again at Yemen Phoenix next weekend.